Welcome to Keep It Simple. These hash browns mimic everything you've come to love about crispy outside and tender inside restaurant quality hash browns. Not only, but these hash browns are kicked up a whole new level with fresh parmesan, chives, garlic, and a lot of seasonings. Now don't worry about writing down the quantities ingredients as it lists in the comment section. And tell your family and friends about this one and support me by hitting the thumbs up and subscribe buttons below. Let's get cracking. The first step is to grate up potatoes. So I'm using three good medium sized potatoes. So with your grater, if you've got a food processor, use that. If you're gonna use the coarse side of the grater, and grate up the spuds. So just watch your fingers, shouldn't take too long. And when you're finished, we're going to give it a good rinse with cold water. Now I find the best way to wash my, wash my potato is in the sieve. Now we need to wash and get all the starch out because having the starch in it actually makes them go a little bit gooey. So we need to clean them up. I find run, run through the sieve for a few minutes just until the water goes clear. You got a power driver on the tap, go for it. Have some fun with it. And you'll see when it starts coming clear, you know, be removed. There we go, nice clear water. Now you wring them out and we dry it in a, potato, a tea towel, paper towel, we get really dry. A nice clean tea towel. We need to get a good ring just to keep them really dry. So if we keep them too wet, it's going to get a mush and it won't stay together when we fry it up. So wring it all out. And then leave them on the bench top in a nice dry location for 10 to 15 minutes just to confirm that they are dry. Right. Look at that, nice, soft and fluffy. There's in about 10 minutes on the bench top in front of the window, getting some really nice heat through today. Now in a bowl, we need to whisk together two eggs. You guys are quick, don't worry about combining too much. Really quick whisk. Two cloves of crushed garlic. So about a tablespoon of chives, a tablespoon of mixed herbs, about half a quarter of a teaspoon of cumin, and optional extra, which is a quarter of a teaspoon of chili powder and a half a cup of grated parmesan. So I'll just jam pack these ones, aren't they? Give that a quick mix. Look at that, into a nice thick paste. And now, that's it. Let that sit for a few minutes. Okay, add one medium finely diced onion and your shredded potato. Get it all in there and give that a quick mix together. Now if you find if it's too dry, add another egg. And if it's too wet, Add a little bit of plain flour just to combine it all together. Now this one's a little bit too dry. Okay, in a pan, preheat the pan and with some oil, about four tablespoons, 
Now you can use coconut oil if you prefer, but I like the taste of olive oil. In the pan, give it a good swirl, lubricate it up, heat down to about medium heat, and with your mixture, take a little spoonful, you don't want to go too much because you don't want to break it. So you can go any size you like, you can make a big hash brown if you like, a small one, medium. And I'm making these ones about 10 mil thick in size. So they'll take approximately five minutes aside until they're cooked through. You want to smell it. It smells incredible. There we go. Okay, time to flip them over very gently. Whoa, look at that. Beautiful toasted on the outside. Now, once you flip them, they take about two minutes to finish off the cooking process. Okay, straight out onto some paper toweling. Look at that. Don't they look good? Now, we continue the process and so I've used up all of the mixture. So I'll see you in about 10 minutes. Okay, there's the last two finished. Well, for three potatoes, we made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hash browns. Not bad. Well, we've got to do a taste test, don't we? Let's find out. Look at that. Nice golden brown. Oh, look at that bend. That's the cheese, parmesan and cheese holding it together. Oh, and the potato really tears apart beautifully. It's big long strands of potato. Mmm. 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 Mm. Once you start, you can't stop. Yeah, the sweetness of the potato, a bit of spice from the curry, definitely tastes the garlic. Whoa, there's a lot of garlic in that one. Love garlic, tastes brilliant. Mmm, and definitely the parmesan, binding it all together. Absolutely magnificent. Well, please let me know what you think in the comments section. It is crispy, spicy, cheesy hash browns. And for those people who subscribe to my channel, thanks so much. I really appreciate your support. And remember, keep it simple. See you next time. Bye for now.